So the Alzheimer's Society works with anybody that has a dementia. So it's not just Alzheimer's, it's anybody with that, that is experiencing um, a dementia uh, or think they might have a dementia. So we support persons living with dementia and also their families uh, or caregivers or whoever is kind of connected to them. And we provide support and education. So we have support groups uh, in various communities. Um, of course, with COVID, we're doing them online, but uh, prior and hopefully post-COVID, we have them in communities. We have education sessions, so I do lots of education. So education can be, uh, start ones would be just getting to know what dementia is or a healthy brain, uh, all the way to um, considering putting somebody into long-term care or dealing with grief and um, guilt around, you know, someone, you know, the whole process of the dementia journey. So a wide gamut of educations. Um, we have a program called Minds in Motion. Uh, so post pre-COVID, we were doing it at the community centre here in Penticton. And that is a, a social for people in the early stages with the a partner they come into the program and they do we have 45 minutes of fitness with a fitness instructor because uh, we know that being healthy is really important and we know that um, you know movement can really help uh, engage a person with with dementia to stay healthier and then we have 45 minutes of um, of mental stimulus and social interaction so which is really um, quite common for people just to really like to be together with other people that are experiencing the same thing uh, so currently now with COVID we're doing it online so we have an online Minds in Motion program and so after uh, COVID gone through well, hopefully we'll have an in-person and an online to meet the needs of everybody across the province um, we also do what's called a first link program so healthcare professionals um, doctors, nurses, social workers, occupational therapists, they can refer somebody. So you go in and you say your wife, uh, you think that she might have dementia and you're kind of trying to figure out what you're going to do. The healthcare provider will say, hey, um, do you mind if I refer you to the society? So we reach out because we know um, somebody that gets a diagnosis of a d dementia might take a year to seek out our services if at all and so that's a long time where they're missing out on education uh the opportunity to kind of prepare for the future and stuff like that so um yeah so we have this first link program where we're connecting in with um healthcare professionals to to refer people and then we call them you know at three months six months and then kind of every six months they can call us anytime but we're reaching out to them just to see how they're doing if they've got questions or concerns and to know that they have support common common thing often on phones is like, oh, you know, I don't have anything, but I'm so happy that you're connecting with me and I feel supported. Or you have, oh, you call just at the right time and you might spend a half an hour talking to them. Or it could be a day where, yeah, we're doing good. Life is going well. We're, you know, thanks for that education and we're doing better. When I experience people that, that seek out our help, um, it, it changes their lives. We and I often describe it, you know, we see somebody that with a broken hand and we'll say, oh, here, can I help do this? I, I know you can't do that. When we, somebody, we see somebody with a broken mind, and really that's what, what's happening with dementia is a broken mind, we don't see that. We see the person that we've always seen, so we have expectations of them. And so we as a caregiver or a family member become very frustrated or, or, you know, or, or we struggle because we don't see the damage. And so that person with dementia can't tell you because they're experiencing that. And so I think it's so important. We can make the lives of the person living with dementia, the family members, just that much better. We can, you know, support and, and you can understand the disease better. There's, there's skills, there's methods, right? We're, we're not innate caregivers, a lot of us. And so sometimes we have to learn, you know, oh, okay, it's, you know, uh, it's, and sometimes it's unknown things. Oh yeah, I, I, you know, the, the lights are off. And so they're, they're having trouble seeing what's going on or, um, you know, they've forgotten something and so they're quite anxious about it but we're like well I just told you well I don't remember right my short-term memory isn't there it's not there right and people will often say that and I think that's a struggle for them well I just wanted to tell I want them to I want them to and it's like well no you as a, a person that's caring and supporting you need to learn how what you need to do not what you expect them to do because they don't have that capacity you can't expect somebody with a broken hand to write a letter you can't expect somebody with dementia to remember something potentially so i think it's just re, you know, it just improves the quality of life for everybody if they've got some education and understanding and feel supported we know that age is the biggest 
factor, right? So as you get older, your chances of getting a dementia gets higher. But there are lots of people in this community that are younger. Um, I live in Summerland and I know some folks out there and they're in their 50s. So dementia can start uh, at an early age. Um, young onset Alzheimer's or frontal temporal dementia can start earlier. And so, um, and for the, a lot of those people, they have there's lots there you know they're you know they're figuring out about their jobs and and you know again people have higher expectations because they don't expect that somebody will um so no there are people young in their 50s and 60s um but yes as you get older that that chance of of developing a dementia becomes higher what we're going to do um with the age uh Aging Well Penticton is we're trying to seek to reduce social isolation for people and so a person with dementia living with dementia can often be feel very isolated because you know the communication networks and stuff like that and so you know they go to a store and they you know people kind of rush them along or whatever and so they, they kind of draw back or their communication skills aren't really well and so we oh, he doesn't know what he's saying, so I back off. Or, you know, families often say, oh, yeah, he used to golf, but then, you know, he started, go like, you know, just not understanding things, and so his friends didn't ask him anymore because they weren't comfortable or whatever. So we're going to do a Philosopher's Cafe and just talk about how our community are we dementia friendly? Can we be more dementia friendly? And what does that mean? And so I'm, I've talked a lot about caregivers and the person living with dementia, but the community is also really important. If we don't understand the disease, we're, we're afraid, we back off, we don't support. And so people lose out, you know, they lose out on their friends, on those things that they can do, and they might not be able to do them as well as they used to, but they still can do them. And so if we can support them, then that helps them, right? So I think that, that hopefully people will join us for the Philosopher's Cafe. That's the Wednesday night, the 2nd of June. And we hope to then have a kind of a series of different ones and not necessarily all about dementia, but just about how we can become a community that really um, supports people and reduces that isolation that, you know, a lot of people as they get older start to experience and even young people too. But, you know, our focus on Seniors Week is seniors, of course. Locally, if you want to talk to me, um, my number is 250-493-8182 or if you're, you know, you see this and you're in Oliver or Soyuz uh, or Princeton, the number is 1-888-318-1122. Uh, and we also have a dementia, which I forgot to mention earlier, is a dementia helpline. So uh, it runs Monday to Friday from nine to eight in English. Uh, so you can call into that number and, you know, if, if you, you know, you've got a pressing question or you just, you know, where do I get started? You know, we have the gamut to where do I get started to I'm really having trouble or, you know, I want to register for something. So that number is 1-800-936-6033. When you see a person living with dementia that comes to a Minds in Motion program and and it's they they lighten up they feel comfortable they feel included they uh, and you can see the their care person uh, hug and connect with another person that's also caring with somebody living with dementia they have unspoken words you don't have to explain everything they feel comfortable or you're in an education session and you you know somebody comes to a couple of them and you see they first come and they're like oh you know I just I'm struggling and and then they learn something and they learn something and then all of a sudden they're like oh I tried that you know you know that thing that we talked about or or Mary talked about in the meeting and was awesome all of a sudden their experience changes they you know it's it's a hard journey but all of a sudden it's a little easier right they're not battling they're able to think about things they can step back and go oh, okay if i do it this way this might might improve things so all of a sudden everybody's life's a little bit better or seeing people in support groups just be able to to, to vent right to be able to say what's going on because often people around them don't understand that ambiguous loss that they have the person there but they're losing them and that, that's a hard, and that's years. That's not, you know, that's years of seeing somebody losing them along the way. And, and so I, I think just being able to support people that way is, is wonderful, right? Um, because it impacts us, right? When we, you know, caregivers get very impacted and, and their health deteriorates if they don't have those supports or that education, right? And we want to keep everybody in our community healthy and happy and doing the best they can with what they've got. Mm -hmm.